Okay, we've got a Canon printer here. It's a, Pic, a Pixma uh, MG2500. It was a, bought it at Walmart. I think it was $34 or something like that. Pretty good buy, yeah. Uh, we're gonna in, uh, I did one video a few months ago on how to install it set it up but we only used the drivers that came with Windows okay we didn't actually install the drivers that came on the on the DVD so today we're going to install the install the software that came with the printer on the DVD See the see the the when we let Windows set it up automatically that's called plug and play P L U G plug and play uh, Windows prides itself on ha having all the drivers installed you know last I knew there was over two thousand drivers for any gadget that you might buy you know copiers scanners cameras you know just drivers for everything. The problem is, you may not get all the features for your gadget. You know, like we uh, we were able to print, but we don't have the software to scan. Okay, so that's why we're going to install the software to scan. So here, Ernie, if if you could put that disc in there. Sometimes that plug and play stuff is called plug and pray. P R E Y. You pray that it works. You know? That's the common joke inside Microsoft. <laughs> plug and pray that it works. Okay, so ho hopefully that disc will just pop up here. And you can go ahead and do it. Ernie, we'll see if that disc pops up here. Yes. See now it, it's doing an auto start, uh, so you, you can hear you, you, you can hear the disc running. If it doesn't start, go into your computer and click on the disc. Here, let's show them where that's at. Go into the computer, click on there, and then go go into the computer there. And right here's your disk. So right click on there and go. Just, just. Okay, now, wait, wait, wait. Uh, sometimes there, there, there's a run there, but there's no run. So go ahead and do it open. And we're looking for something that says setup. So there's the one that says setup. For some reason, the auto run one didn't work, so we're, we're, we'll just press the one that says right click. Uh, no, uh, left click on it twice, and that should that should start it up. Okay, now it's asking you if you're the administrator. You have to log in as the administrator. Let's see. I think the administrator password is. You have to be the administrator to log in as or to install. Okay, first you have to log in as the administrator. So, what's the administrator account? Uh, if we go to the control panel here and go to user accounts. Like here's the user accounts here. So here we're logged in with this guy here and see he's just a standard user. That's why we can't install the software. So we have to go in and manage uh, manage another account. 
Okay, it's asking us for the administrator password here. I don't remember the administrator password. I, I could have swore it was that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so I entered the administrator pass password, and you can see here we have multiple accounts here. One, oh shoot, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so see if I surf the web as the, the administrator, if I pick up something nasty, it can affect all these other accounts. And then you've got real problems. If you're surf, surfing the web as a standard user and you pick up something nasty, it usually stays inside that account. So then all you have to do is erase that one account and m most of them are, are gone. So. so guest account should always be off. You know, that's the first thing a hacker goes for is the guest account because there's usually not a password on, on that. So always turn always turn that off. So let's see. Just cl cl click on there and there'll be a button that says turn off. Okay, so we're logged in as the administrator. I just wanted to make sure that this user one was the administrator. Usually the administrator account is named administrator, but when we set up this account, we set up user one as the administrator. Okay, and that's because if a hacker tries to get into your computer, they try to get the administrator account. You know, and if they, if your administrator account is named administrator, they got half the information. Then they only have to guess the password so that's why your administrator account shouldn't should not be named administrator okay blah 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 <laughs> what's he talking about there I have no idea. <laughs> okay so we're logged in as we're logged in as the administrator I I think we can go here oh, oh okay we're we're still logged in as Big Ernest. So we're going to go here and go. We could go log off or switch user. We're going to go ahead and log off. And then here's our different accounts. We know user one is the administrator. Type in the administrator. Okay, so now we're logged in as the we're logged in as the administrator. This here is just uh, software that came with the with the computer. I, I don't know why that won't turn off. It won't turn off because they want you to buy it. Right click on the taskbar, go to start. Click on applications, Norton, and click end. Okay. So now we're logged in as the we're logged in as the administrator and we can tell that by this guy here. Okay, so then we go back to the computer. Here's our disk. Sometimes there's a run here, I think. And you, but there doesn't seem to be one here, so we'll go open. Here's our setup again. Click on setup. Uh, sometimes there might be different versions here. There might be a driver for Windows, a driver for Mac, a driver for Unix, you know. But there's just one here for windows this is probably the same setup file here and sometimes there might be something in, in here there might be a man a manual you 
Okay, so we'll go back here. Okay, so here's our here's our setup. Double click that. And say here's just is saying do are are you sure you want to run the application? Yes. And now it's saying, okay, we're going to install the software here. Click next. Usually in, things install pretty pain, painlessly. You can just keep clicking next, you know. It's, it's usually pretty easy to install things these days. It's getting them configured after it's installed is the tough part. So next. Read the license. Click yes. Uh, blah 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 blah. Yes. And it, it's saying here it takes about 12 minutes to install, which I doubt if it'll really take that long. So these status bars are only an estimate, so you can't always trust the status bars. Okay, we're almost done installing here. Pretty close. These days you don't have to reboot after you install software for most of them. You know, it's somehow the system just knows what's going on, but I always like to reboot because then you get all you get all the changes. And then so Okay, it's done. It's 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 asking us to if it's installed right. We know it's we know it's set up. We know it works, so let's okay we'll turn we'll Turn on the printer there. Uh, when we hooked it up the first time, it wasn't recognizing it. And we had to do a clean install of Windows because there was too much uh, junk software on, on the computer, ad, adware and crap like that. So, so now it's, it's asking us if we want to align the printer heads. And uh, Sometimes, like if you were to print this text, it may look a little jagged. But uh, you know, I've I've been doing this since '95, and I've never had this really make a difference. But we'll do it here so we can waste some ink. So <laughs> for the sake of the video. See it's it's doing a printout so you can tell what it looks like. And then if things aren't if things aren't lined up right, then you can go in and change it. Usually though they're they're okay, you know. I think only one time since 95 have I seen one that wasn't lined. You know, like there's there's uh, big letters on, 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 on the screen and there's like a black outline and the inside of the text is like a different color, a red or something. And the red insert is like offset, you know. It's, so the, that's how you can tell the it's not lined up and I think that's what they're saying here. It's taken forever, geez. A printer. They always take forever. Still, this is just crazy. It's printing out in Chinese.
Cannon wants you to buy more ink. Right? <laughs> See? That's what I mean about wasting ink. See this. Th this is the test printout to see how your to see how your alignment is set up. And you can see here they describe it here at the bottom. It says you must scan this sheet to complete the print head alignment. Blah. Okay, so you must scan it to see if it's set up right. Okay. Well. Okay. User head. Can you. Here, wait, wait, Ernie. Let's, let's, uh... And then I guess we just start printing. Printing of this print head alignment pattern is complete. Proceed to scan the printed alignment pattern. Okay. Well, here, put that in in, in there. We'll go ahead and follow the directions and see what it does here. Place the printed alignment pattern on on the planton. I, I, wait, 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 Ernie. I refer to the manual for details. There's a user manual. Press the printer start button. So they're, they're at the bottom. They're showing the bottom button. So so you're gonna waste more ink. Hmm, what's color? White or black? Uh, they're saying it's the very bottom button here on this picture. Yeah, bottom button there. I don't know what that button would do. That 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 that's a that's a color that the color button. Huh? Okay, that's the button they're showing here on the screen. Okay, there now there's a there was a pop-up on the screen that says printer head is being aligned And now we now we're back to the screen here And did, did another sheet come out? No, no Okay, it says you need to execute print head alignment before using this printer Okay, we've done that So I so I guess that's how it's done. So so we're done so can I turn this thing off? No, no, wait, wait, wait. Click next. Okay, now setup setup is complete. Click next. Uh, usually you can skip the registration, but sometimes it's nice to register in case the uh, there's updates for your printer or something like that. You know. we can't wait here. Test print. Th this just prints out a page to test. It's just more ways to waste ink. So I usually don't bother with those these days. Okay, so setup is successful. Okay. And usually you don't have to reboot. For some reason, it opened up a web page here. Useful functions. This must be the. See, okay. 